everybody, this is Madonna from Mad Beast Quilt and Sew, and we are on part number seven. It's hard to believe, seven times that you and I have gotten together. And we are working on Vintage December, and this is the Amanda Niederhauser pattern. And today we're gonna work on the um, dividing sashing strips. So in that part, we're gonna um, open up to our pattern here, and we are going to be on the section right here. So it says checkerboard units, we've done that. That's what we did last time. And then now we're gonna work on these dividing um, sashing strips. In there it's talking about your red fabrics. Remember you chose different fabrics. Mine for that portion are going to be black and whites and greens and so that's what I'm going to be putting together. These are going to be strips that um, are six units long, two, four, six. They have them going in a repeating pattern. It's up to you if that matters or not. They just want to be kind of messed up so that that way you get a nice um, variety. When you're done with that variety of six, we're gonna set those aside and we're not gonna be using them until the next class. So the only concern that I have about you sewing these is making sure that you're starting and stopping on those short little seams stays very straight. A lot of us have a tendency when we start that we're perfect. We get it lined up really nicely under our needle, but then as we get to the end of it, we kind of belly out a little bit, we let go. So really make sure that you're keeping straight on your outside edge there. We wanna make sure that when we're done, our strip sets don't have a, a smile to them. So by pressing correctly and making sure that we're finishing that edge all the way, that's going to be our best results. In this step, it's really your decision whether you press open or to one side. I prefer to press to one side just because I like the way that things nest together, but that's really your choice. So I'm going to take a peek at the um, fabrics that I have today, and I've got this green leaf. I've got lots of those, so I'm going to set one of those down, and I'm going to let mine be messed up. I'm not going to worry about them being an absolute pattern, and the reason I'm going to is because I do have more of a scrappy look to my whole quilt. So then I've got a green and black, and then I've got one that's got a little bit of gold on it. The only concern that I'm gonna have is, um, I know that I've got two strips that are gonna go horizontal, and then two strips that are gonna go vertical. So I wanna make sure in my horizontal that all my houses are facing the same direction, and my vertical are gonna be going up and down. So I'm gonna show you real quick here what I mean by that. Okay, so. This would be one of my horizontal strips. Okay, there's four. Can we see that, Mackenzie? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, we've got a stripe here. And the stripes don't really matter. They can go either way. And then I've got fish. They kind of matter, because I really don't want them swimming upstream. Okay, so there's, if I'm gonna put this together, when I put this together for the horizontal strip, I want all of them to be facing in one direction. When I go to do it for the vertical strip, I'm gonna put them on the top like this, Mm -hmm. So that way when my wall hangings hanging on my wall that I have the, the tent going the right direction Okay, and that's my intent right now Now, you know, hopefully that's how it turns out to be So when I'm done, I want to make sure that my unit is staying right on top of itself and that I'm not pressing crazy Remember since we're working with small units like this we can chain piece But leave yourself that quarter of an inch on either end so that that way your seams don't pop open on you as you're pressing Any questions Mackenzie? All good so far. I think that actually that's what we've got for today So you're gonna make four of these sets two that are gonna go horizontal and two that are gonna go vertical. And that's what we need to have done for the next time I see you. Guess what? Next time we're gonna be putting it together. Woo yeah, so very exciting. So the next one should take a little bit longer, but I want you to get those strip sets done. No smiles, nice straight sets, nice uniform. All four of them should measure the same measurement and uh, make sure that if you're working with something that has a direction on it, that you're looking at the direction so that they look nice when you're finished. Everybody have a great Monday, and I will see you next week Monday back here to get putting this all together. Bye, guys. Thank you.